Okay, go. All right, so anytime we have a stressor, mm -hmm. and there are three types of stressors. We have physical stressors, which is how we move. Uh, it could be prolonged sitting, it could be golf, whatever it is. Any kind of physical stressor, a traumatic event as well. We have emotional stressors, which nobody has, all right? Mm -hmm. So any kind of uh, emotional trauma, uh, daily stressors, and then we have chemical stressors. And these are more how we eat, how we breathe, like the environment, like pollution and toxins, etc. Mm -hmm. right? Anytime we have a stressor, it creates inflammation. And then inflammation creates scar tissue. And scar tissue changes the muscle mechanics. Muscle mechanics, how well muscles are moving. And Joan was talking to you about this. So muscles are supposed to glide like this. If you have scar tissues, muscles don't, doesn't glide very well. So then the tendons pulling, pulling at each other. This could cause muscle inhibition. So muscles get turned off because of the scar tissue. So the muscle might seem weak, but it actually is inhibited because of scar tissue, which will then in turn alter joint mechanics. So then the joints don't function as well because you have muscles that are supposed to be uh, elastic, mm -hmm. but now they have a lot of tension in them because of the scar tissue. So joints become altered, which causes more stress, which causes more inflammation, and it's a vicious cycle. This is called a cumulative injury cycle. And I like to start here at the scar tissue. Mm -hmm. As a PT, I should start here. Um, when I started learning spinal manipulations, I went here. Right. But what I found is if I release the scar tissue, muscles become more elastic, muscle strength returns, joint mechanics improves, stress reduces, inflammation reduces. And so I start with the scar tissue, it fixes everything else. Fair enough? Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right.